Hello, welcome to Go No Go, where I give my first impressions of an anime show. Today, we're going to be talking about Woodpecker Detective's Office by Leiden Films, available on Crunchyroll and Verve. Taking place during an Industrial Revolution era, Japan, almost like a Pare Ranman, surprisingly, our main character is Ishikawa Takuboku, whose line of work is poetry and then decides to change it to murder mystery solver, or detective, I should be more specific. With him and his best friend and his other group of poets, they decide to solve murder mysteries together. There is another well-known mystery series that a lot of people are talking about because it's basically Bruce Wayne if he was a badass, but that wasn't really on my list this season. And I already had enough anime to watch as it is. That also doesn't include the anime sequels that I'm currently watching too. But Woodpecker Detective's Office is definitely an anime I think a lot of people are missing out on. It has this fun little murder mystery-esque enjoyment, as, you know, it is a murder mystery. And I actually do like the chemistry between our two male leads. And I'm also curious what happened to Ishikawa, as the first episode hints towards something happening to him. So there's not going to be much of a surprise when that certain situation happens. Not to mention, I do like the animation, but then again, Leiden Films does some pretty good animation from time to time. And yet again, this is another anime you should go watch. You know what, now that I think about it, I think I have so many anime that are on this go list right now. I really lucked out on choices this season. And speaking of anime choices, the next one is the last one for this season. So thank you so much for watching, and if you're curious about what I thought about the anime from this season or the previous season, check out the playlist in the link in the description. And tune in next time for the last anime I'm talking about for this season, BNA.